Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I want to talk market with you guys today and specifically about something on the market that has been happening the past couple of days as we've seen this coronavirus news get around and as it has started to affect sports and especially football. We have games that are canceled, seasons that are now canceled, playing behind closed doors with no fans, uh, able to be present at events, and that is crazily enough impacting prices on FIFA Ultimate Team. Yes, a real world uh, pandemic is what they're calling it now. The coronavirus is actually affecting FIFA Ultimate Team, which is crazy. It is crazy. But once you sit down and think about it, you're like, why is this happening? It kind of makes sense, right? Because we have live items. I'm going to start showing you guys some of these cards that have been affected. Uh, we have some live items that are affected by these players playing in games in real life they get upgraded by playing in their games when these games aren't able to be held uh, obviously people are scared and, and, and people are selling these cards because they want to get their coins and they're not sure what's going on with the situation and that's causing these cards to drop Paulo Dybala we're going to take a look at this graph because this is honestly crazy stuff this card right here earlier today um, one of Paulo Dybala's teammates uh, Rugani the center back the Italian center back Rugani uh, came down with the virus. Of course, Dybala is on that team, and right away they postponed the match, which was which was supposed to be played um, next week, uh, the second leg of the Juventus and Lyon Champions League uh, round of 16 gameplay. This card was 600,000 coins earlier today, and it has now dropped down to 500k. It's dropped 100,000 coins due to the fear that this game will not be played because of the coronavirus. That's just one example. Uh, Europa League game between Roma and between Sevilla. Both this game right here was postponed due to the virus issues or due to, uh, I think it was postponed because um, one of the teams was not able to actually get clearance to land their plane um, at the in the area where they were supposed to play the game because of the virus. This card was 100,000 coins. The Juan Jesus wrote to the final 100,000 coins, upper 90s. He is now down. Uh, I think he's actually even a, a little bit below 90,000 coins at the moment. So these cards are dropping on the game because they're live items that are impacted by real-world football and real-world games. And since these games are becoming uh, suspended, uh, they're pausing seasons, they're putting games on hold, you're seeing these cards drop because people want to get their coins in, instead of investing in them, right? Uh, they know they're not going to be getting upgraded because these games aren't being played, and you're seeing these drops on the market happen. Here's another one for you. Romelu Lukaku. Now, I want to talk about the Serie A as well. I think a lot of Serie A cards, especially the live items, the other ones that are out there, we just looked at three specific items that were in the Serie A, um, but especially like a ones to watch or any of the Serie A items, any of the road to the finals and um, headliners as well, these cards are going to probably continue to drop because I don't know how soon it's going to be until they can reinstate these games. Lukaku is 28,000 coins, but if there's no games being played, especially if it's a live item that is a, you know, a pretty expensive price threshold above the next cheapest card, right? I can use Dybala as, a, as that example again. This Dybala card is uh, 500,000 coins at the moment. His next inform, if you look at Footbin, uh, he's got the 90 rated inform, which is 127,000 coins, and that is his next most expensive card with this one is at 500,000 coins on the market. So there's obviously a huge price discrepancy in there. Uh, and if people want to get their coins and get out of these investments and get out of these cards because they just don't know when they're going to play and get upgraded, it makes sense, right? It makes sense that they want to sell these cards and get their coins back on the market. But it's honestly just crazy and it just baffles me that this game, FIFA Ultimate Team, the cards on this market, which is totally, you know, uh, just football based and not really not really tied to real life except for some of the live items is now being impacted by the coronavirus and all that pandemic that is going around. Another example, this one's kind of the opposite way, but also an interesting situation. This Pierre em Emmerich Aubameyang card, who could get player of the month on Friday, by the way. Uh, I want to take a look at this headliner card because the Manchester City Arsenal game, which was supposed to be played yesterday, was actually canceled because of the coronavirus. And look what has happened to this man's price. Last night, before this was announced, this was announced pretty late last night, uh, his price was down to about 740, 750,000 coins because 
they were playing Man City, right? Obviously, they had three wins in a row. This card would be uh, upgraded when they get that fourth win. They were supposed to play Manchester City in a Premier League game that was, I think, rescheduled. And the game ended up not happening because of the coronavirus. As you can see, he was 740, 730,000 coins at one point. I looked at him last night on my live stream. He was 750K. And the news broke shortly after I looked at him that the game was going to be canceled. His price went up in a matter of hours over to back up to 850, 900,000 coins. And now he's kind of chilling at 800,000, 840,000 coins. Because people people looked at the next game after Man City and they saw that Arsenal are playing Brighton. And obviously they would have a higher chance of beating Brighton and getting that fourth win in a row that they need to get this card upgraded than they would versus playing Manchester City. So it's that's, a, that's the opposite effect from what most cards are having on this game right now. Most cards are going down because of the coronavirus because people are selling them because they know they're not going to get upgraded. But other people are buying cards, especially like that Aubameyang. Now, do I think that Aubameyang is going to stay high? I don't know. It just, they're, it seems like they're canceling more and more stuff every single day uh, because of the virus that is going around and, and, you know, they don't want people to get infected and stuff like that. Um, so it's really interesting to see what's going to happen with all this. What is my take? What, obviously, I know why this is going down. It's, it's kind of weird to draw the correlation between an actual real world virus and FIFA Ultimate Team cards. But it kind of makes sense, right? Because these are live items that are dependent on the real world gameplay and the real world um, games that are played and the real world competitions. And when those competitions don't happen, these cards don't get upgraded, which means people don't want to have them if they're not having that chance to get upgraded. So that's what I want to talk about mostly today. Do I, well, How do I think this virus is going to affect the rest of the game? There's a number of possibilities that could happen. Now, we got a really solid set of content today, and obviously we don't know how EA works and how they release content. Do they have to set it up days prior, and then they just kind of, you know, press the button, so to speak, and they just put the content out? Like today, we got Flashback Jerome Boateng, which is a really nice-looking card, uh, except for the maybe agility balance and the stamina. Other than that, it looks insane, but... How does, does EA, can EA pro, pro, program uh, content to come in this game, you know, like this? How, we, we just don't know this stuff, but we can kind of speculate, right? If nobody at EA is going to work because of this virus, of course, EA is probably, uh, or EA is a big company, we know that. Who knows how many different workers they have at their corporate offices if they're not allowing people to come into work, uh, not allowing people to uh, work on this game. That could be something that we have to face in the future is not getting updates on FIFA if people at EA are not going to work if they haven't preloaded content and stuff like that. So that's going to be something that could be interesting to watch as well to see if we ever have any issues with that. But um, at least so far, we haven't had we haven't seen anything different in, in terms of content or haven't heard anything from EA saying like, hey, we're going to be not releasing any content because nobody's at, at work or that we're not having our employees come in. We haven't heard anything about that, but I wanted to put that in your guys' minds because that's a possibility. That is a possibility since there's a lot of things that are being canceled as the, as the virus spreads and people trying not to get uh, catch that virus. So that's one thing I wanted to bring up with you guys as well. We're in the middle of the Kami Bowl promo, which we're leading up towards a Friday, man. We have weekly rewards tonight, and we have the Friday is like the end of Kami Bowl Libertadores with these cards. It seems like we're going to get more content related to uh, foot player days on Friday. So I don't know how EA is going to be doing that if they are going to be pulling people out of the office. Again, I don't know if they're doing any of that, but just trying to talk through that with some of you guys and just, and just talk about that because that's a legit situation that we kind of have to monitor. And again, I just think it's crazy that a real life like virus is, is uh, it's serious, obviously, but it's just crazy to me that it's impacting this game of foot. Now, across the market everywhere else, what else has been going on? Not much. Of course, we did get the Boateng SBC today and I want to transition to kind of talking about what the content that we got on Wednesday in foot because we actually got a decent amount of content. It was a solid day. Um, for content, regardless, if we look across the the market in just in terms of looking at the whole market and not just some of the live items, we got some pack supply SBCs today, and we got a really good value. I think this drone boat tank SBC is is pretty good value in my opinion. Uh, of course, I'm not a huge fan of them dropping so many Bundesliga center backs in this game. A lot of you guys I know, you got that Kabak right. When Kabak came out, it was just Saint Juice Day. Those are like the only. 
That was the only special center back from the Bundesliga that was available. And now we have St. Juste. We have Kabak, future stars. Um, we've gotten a storyline player in Akanji, which a lot of people got. We got the shapeshifters, um, David Alaba. I think I'm missing somebody too. There's another There's another special center back that we got. Mats Hummels, uh, flashback card. We've gotten so many Bundesliga center backs in the past couple of weeks that it's crazy. But this SBC comes in at around 336,000 coins. This card does look very, very good. He's very linkable because, again, he's German. He is uh, from Bayern Munich. I'm sure there was like Kimmich went up today. I'm sure there were a lot of link investments that went up to this card because I know that it's it's a Bayern SBC, right? And there's probably a lot of links that went up to it because people were definitely doing this SBC today. Now, I bought some Leon Goretzka's around 90,000 coins earlier today. He is right now 96K. You know what? I'm going to snag this one too. Just for the heck of it, because we have weekly rewards coming very soon, and I'm gonna be looking to spend some of my coins on these uh, on these cards that I could flip overnight into tomorrow. So uh, yeah, I bet the links for this will rise because I think a lot of people are doing that SBC. I want to check on high rated as well because I know a lot of us are invested in high rated at the moment. How did these do today? I would imagine that there is some demand for this SBC. These cards are kind of the same in price, man. Doesn't look like they've really pushed up that much which makes sense because we got a lot of sbcs today of course we got the jerome boateng but we got two other tradable sbcs we have a 35 k 35k pack that was tradable and also a uefa marquee matchups with a rare mixed players pack and then what are these two packs inside of here you get a small prime which is a good pack and then a prime mix which is decent as well so i know there were some issues with either this sbc or was it was it the big game player this one is an untradable uh, pack supply, but there was an issue with one of these today uh, regarding like it said you had to put uh, It said that you had to put um, Foot swap icons into the SB suite or not icons foot swap cards is what it said You had to submit into the SBC. So that was like a glitch. I think today that was uh, That was incorrect and I actually think it was in UCL or UEFA marquee matchups. It was in one of these two Yeah, it was in this one right here. It says UEFA Champions League common or rare five uh, and that should have, at, at, be, at the beginning, it said foot swap tokens five. So that's kind of a mess up that EA had today. Another interesting mess up was with this team of the week. And I don't really understand this because why is the team of the week uh, getting delayed? I don't even know if it's in foot yet. It might be too early for that to be put into FIFA Ultimate Team. Never mind, it is here. Uh, a decent team of the week. I mentioned in my tweet earlier today, we had three ones to watch upgrades with St. Maximum's SBC. Wamba Saka, and then of course, who's the third guy? Who's the who, who was the third one? Oh, it was a headliner. Do we have a headliner upgrade? Who was it? Who was it? Who was it? Um Thorgan Hazard. Where's he at? Where is Thorgan Hazard in this team? 86 on the bench. That's why I couldn't find him. So Thorgan Hazard's wants to watch got upgraded to an 86 as well. I actually want to go and check Wamba Saka's price because this team is now in packs. The um the team of the week 26 is actually now in packs. It wasn't at first for a while, which, you know, I don't, I'm not sure, entirely sure what was the deal with EA Sports and not being able to release that team of the week right away, but it was not released uh, right away. So, you know what? I'm actually just going to look this up on Footbin because it's going to be easier than sorting through a bunch of informs on foot. So, Wamba Saka right now is 44,000 coins. So, technically, if you sold in the hype today, it looks like you might have gotten the best deal. Okay, actually, he went right when he was announced, he went up to 56K. Kind of went back down, creeped back up, and now he's back down to 44,000 coins. And he's going to keep going lower, right? As this, as the 84 rated inform continues to drop with that, he's going to keep going lower. So again, an, kind of an average team of the week. Nothing nothing spectacular, uh, but we did get a couple ones to watch upgrades, which is cool. And of course, um, the, the road of the final card today, I want to talk about this as well. I'm actually losing a lot of coins right now on one card. I bought a Mane two days ago. I bought this Mane right here two days ago for 866,000 coins. And I just, I'm, boys, I'm telling you, I missed out on seconds. I missed out on seconds of, for making tons of money on this card. Instead of making like 200,000 coins of profit on this card, I, I'm going to end up losing. If I would sell it right now, he's like 375K. I, I would be losing like 400K if I ended up selling right now. I don't think I'm going to. I'm going to send him to the club. I might just use him in my team and then um, go from there because right now I have Kent at left mid 
and I could get a little bit of a, a cheeky link with Harry Kane there with my with this Mane card and use him at left mid because I really don't want to sell this card at the moment because I bought him at 866,000 coins right after Liverpool scored the first goal to go up 1-0. Um, I didn't sell him. He went right up to 1.1 mil and I should have sold him right there, but I didn't um, because then... I forget what it was. I didn't sell him right away because I was waiting for that second goal because I thought, you know, Liverpool is pushing. I wasn't watching the game, but I was watching like I had a little uh, like a live score updating on my screen and I was watching this. I was seeing him sell like 1.09, 1.0. I think 1.06 was listed and got insta bought and I should have just taken the profit and not gotten greedy. But I thought when they scored the second goal that he would boom up higher in price. They did end up scoring the second goal. Literally, I'm talking this was seconds, boys. I literally listed my card on the market at the same time that Atletico scored their first goal to uh, to you know get the away goal at Liverpool. I don't know who scored the first goal. I haven't seen, like I haven't really looked at the game. I've just been worried about this since the game ended. But I literally scored at the same time, or I listed at the same time as that goal was scored. And then all of a sudden I just see tons of Mane's flooding the market and not selling. And now this guy is down to like, 375,000 coins. Crazy, crazy drop. But that's the risk that we play, right? I made probably about 400, 500,000 coins off of these road to the final cards uh, already this year. And basically this one, this one attempt to make even more has cost me all of my coins that I've made on these cards this year. It's kind of cost me all back. Like it's all gone. If you think of it in that manner. So this money right now is 375,000 coins. And I'm kind of interested in this card and all of the road to the finals that got, you know, really hurt in price today. I'm really interested in this one because he has basically identical stats to this inform that is 90 rated. The only difference is um, he's got plus one physical on this road to the final card. Uh, both have really sick dynamic images, but this one's a UCL with like, you know, the stuff around the card. And these cards are very rare. Uh, so I think there's definitely a possibility that you could invest in some of these if you uh, the only thing that I would say is I don't know if I would invest in this card since he has so many other special cards that people could buy into but some of the other road to the finals that have taken huge hits today um, the only ones that I would buy again we're talking about coronavirus stuff I don't think I would mess around with cards that are like a Dybala I wouldn't mess around with Dybala I wouldn't mess around with Militao or Mares just because we don't know if this those games are actually happening at, at this time right now or when they're going to be played or if they're going to be played so I would only mess around with the ones that you know have played right like let's say you know Yoris and Sun these guys are down a bunch how much is Sun right now if these guys are still down a bunch, these cards are really rare. And this is the best version other than the 90, which is 950,000 coins. This is the best version of Sun that you can get. He was 568K at one point today. Uh, he's 590 right now. So maybe you look for some undercuts on some of these. If you want them for your team, uh, I, I don't know how... These cards are really rare. I'll, I'll say that. I don't know just how much they're going to rise up out of packs. This one was one of my favorite as an out of packs or an after after a panic sell, I should say. It's not really out of packs, it's just post panic. Uh, but this Yoris was uh, like 97,000 coins after their game uh, two nights ago. He's now back up to like 110. So if, if you see this around 100,000 coins again, I don't mind it because he's the best French goalkeeper in the game based on a rating's sake. Uh, so I do think some of these UCL uh, rare cards, road to the finals, whatever you want to call them, I do think some of these will rise. I'm looking at Sancho right now under 110,000 coins. Because I think this card is worth more than 110k in this game, so I'm kind of of a I'm kind of a fan of that one. Um, but I'm just so disappointed, man, that I missed out on some of that profit today. And that's just a lesson that we sometimes have to learn, just to not be greedy, right? Just to not be greedy and take the coins when they're there. Because I could have sold this guy for like 1.1 mil, 1.05 mil, but I wanted to try to squeeze a little bit more out of it, and it ended up hurting me. So I'm just gonna send him to the club for the time being. He's going to enter my squad and I'm going to have some fun with him. And that's uh, what we're going to do with that right there. Again, I want to mention with uh, high rated golds, a lot of you guys probably still have these. Keep listing for lazies, right? If we're getting these good SBCs, they keep putting out decent SBCs. I'm just waiting to see what comes out in regard regarding the player of the month this Friday. And I would expect more pretty quality SBCs throughout the rest of this week. Of course, we have weekend league rewards that are coming out very, very shortly. Um, and a lot of you guys are talking to me about Tevez, right? You want to know about some of these Libertadores players, especially Carlos Tevez. 
Now I'm really curious with him. Did he get did he get bought today, or did he get packed today during the pack supply that came for the SBCs that came today? Because we had the mega pack supply and then UEFA marquee matchups. Did this guy drop at all today because of, of pack supply? He really didn't. He's been 930k kind of all day, and there's not really any panic selling headed into rewards right now. Uh, so I would just keep an eye on this. I think this guy is going to go up after weekend league rewards. Again, there's a lot of people that played weekend league this weekend. So there's 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 potential that we could have a lot of supply entering the market for these Libertadores cards and, and for all cards that are in packs in general. Uh, but again, this uh, the thing about weekend league rewards that is crazy every week is it literally depends every single week. It's different. It just depends what EA wants to do with the cards. This Valencia is probably someone... Uh, that you might see go up after rewards because he's one of the most top tier uh, Libertadores players. He's 100,000 coins right now with a shadow. Ooh, interesting. Maybe I should be buying that. Valencia for 100,000 coins with the shadow. He's just hard to link, but this is a insanely good right back. And it looks like he's been his cheapest since the pack supply today. Yeah, let's check this out, man. Actually, you know what? I'm going to buy that. I'm going to, I just bought that Valencia for 100K. If you check this out, he was 120,000 coins all morning. He dipped down to 100k, which is kind of where he's at right now because of the pack supply today. I just don't know how much these cards are going to get packed during rewards. The, the past two weeks at rewards, there has not been much packed in terms of like the pack weight has been really low. And of course, that is dynamic. So I'm going to I'm going to test that out, especially since it has a shadow. I'm going to test that out and see if I can flip that Valencia later after rewards, just in case there are people that want to go buy that card. So, yes, with a shadow. Actually, I might try to flip this right now. Valencia is 120K with a shadow. So we'll just see what happens with that. But uh, there could be some supply for those Libertadores cards. If you're looking to get any of those, maybe if you're awake for rewards when you're watching this video, try to get on the market for a little bit and see if they're getting packed. Because again, tons of people played weekend league this weekend because of the extra player picks that were in the store. And that means there's going to be more packs opened uh, this morning and today for weekend league rewards. But again, Crazy market movements regarding the coronavirus and regarding that stuff it actually impacting FIFA Ultimate Team. Stay safe wherever you guys are. Uh, wash your hands. Do all that good smart stuff. And so you can, you can stay healthy. Um, and of course, good luck with your weekend league rewards as well. Dropping in a few hours here after this video goes live. If you enjoyed this video, smash your thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.